Hello everyone, this is Professor Patterns, and if you've been using LLMs, then you need to drop everything that you're doing and try out the Google Gemini Flash models. Now, these models are available completely free from Open Router. Uh, we can see here that the context window is 1 million tokens. For reference, the Claude Sonnet 3.5 model ha only has a context window of 200K. It's also multimodal. The DeepSeek V3 model, that's not a multimodal model. This is. You can take a screenshot and ask it to describe that screenshot. Um, you can integrate this with Open Web UI as well as through Klein. Now, if you don't know what any of those things are, then I've added in some links in the description. Definitely watch those videos and then come back to this one. Now, here is an example of a portfolio website that the Google Gemini Flash model created for me. Remember that this is a completely free model to use. So... Here it created a John Doe full stack developer website. There's an about me section. If I scroll down, there's a full timeline of their experience. I can scroll down some more and I have a portfolio section. I can click on any of the projects and get some more insights into the projects uh, as well. And there's a contact me page. Now, if I go here on VS Code, we can see that in terms of the API cost usage, completely free, $0. So all you will do is go to your settings and then API provider, click Open Router, and then the model is the Gemini Flash 2.0 Experimental. Now as a quick demo, I'm gonna create an empty repository and then give it a prompt. So the prompt is to create a website using HTML, CSS, JavaScript. I want you to see in real time how fast this is actually going to work. So compare this to something like Claude Sonnet 3.5 or even the DeepSeek R1, and also compare the context window. You can see that it's extremely fast to actually implement, and who cares about the context window because this can go up to 1 million. And the best part is that API cost, $0.0. .0. So here we can see that it's gonna be done with creating the website, and then we can always open it up. Now suppose that you want to maybe try out a better model or something. Well, what you would do is just go to Gemini 2.0 Flash, and then just think the, or select the Flash Thinking Experimental Free model. And this is going to be the one that's going to be similar to the DeepSeek R1 model. Uh, it uses it the same way. So just say something like make it better. And you'll see that it does take some more time at first to start up because it's doing the thinking part. But even the thinking part is going to be super fast. And here we can see that it's again writing the code. So now that we can see how this model can be implemented in Klein, let's also take a look at Open Web UI. So here I have the Google Gemini Flash thinking model, and I'm gonna ask it, what's the meaning of life? Again, it's gonna do the thinking part first. It doesn't really show the thinking part here unless there's a specific tool that we would want to install. But here we can see that we do get the response. It's pretty fast. And again, the best part, it's a completely free model. That's why I encourage you to try it out. Let me know what you think, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.